Hi, hello, and welcome back to Rebel Unicorn Crafts. Today I'm going to be doing a fluid painting technique that I think some other people have done something similar to, but I'm not entirely sure if the exact application is the same. I'm calling it a centered layered Dutch pour. If there's a term for this, please let me know in the comments. For this pour, I am starting with a nice thick layer of my pre-mixed flow acrylic that I have a little bit of water, flow trawl, and a couple drops of the Liquitex pouring medium in. I'm going to try to keep this video in real time as much as I can so that you can see it happen as I did. I've also mixed up my other colors and they are a similar mixture, a combination of Anita's Craftsmart and I believe I have a little bit of the Blick acrylic. All of these have been pre-thinned and are mixed with the similar mixture to what my white has. I have a video on that white and my mixture a few videos back if you want to take a look at that. In general, the technique I'm using for this is I'm going to pour from pretty high up and go in about the center and I'm going to layer in a color and then some white. Then I'm going to take a hair dryer with a, a nozzle attachment that I made and I'm going to blow right in the center. So you're going to have a little hard time seeing that initially because I've got to cover it to show it. But I'm pointing the hair dryer right in the center of that. And again, now I'm going to put another color and then I'm going to put a little white and I'm going to blow again. For this technique in general, I'm mainly going to just be blowing, but I did want to stretch this out a little bit, so on at least uh, one or two layers, I did kind of start in the center and then work my way out to spread that paint once I had a few layers down, because I didn't want it to just be right in the center. I wanted there to be some wispy parts on the outside. I absolutely love this color that I just put down. It looks black, but just wait. Now you can see some of that teal or kind of peacock green peeping, peeping through. And as I blow that out, oh man, that color is just, it's one of my favorite colors. Let's continue this, just adding a layer, some white, and then blowing. So I'm making basically, they're not concentric circles because they don't exactly line up, but I am putting two bits of paint in the middle and then I just blow straight down with a kind of targeted attachment on the hair dryer. I really enjoy the layered effect that this has where you kind of get these different rings within it but you still get some of the aspects of a Dutch pour and I think it's just beautiful. So I'm going to actually stop talking and just let this play. I know sometimes it's a little frustrating in fluid painting videos that you can't quite tell how long things are taking so I'm going to try to just keep this at the same speed so if you want to you can flip over to the end of the video to actually see the end result. I will show it you dried.
Thanks for sticking with me through that. And now we have it here dry. And I really like this technique. I like the kind of big bubbly cells it gets on the outside of it. I do wish that I had done one of two things differently. One is either have it go off more, so maybe on those first couple layers, really make sure that some of that is actually falling over the edge, or I wish I hadn't spread it so much and it was just kind of centered in this and there was more white space. But in general, I really like this technique. I think the mixtures worked really well and it's kind of fun to be able to have a little more control, but also a little bit more variables that you don't entirely expect with the air. Let me know if you have tried this technique or something similar in the comments, and I hope that you have a magically creative day. If you want to see more testing videos where I test out different variables for fluid painting, want to see any watercolor tutorials or some other art supply testing, subscribe to my channel. Or if you just want to see some of the art that I create, it's really varied. You can follow me either at Lacey Walker Art or at Rebel Unicorn Crafts on Instagram or Rebel Unicorn Crafts on TikTok, where I make some, some funny videos as well as some tool talk videos. And I hope that you have a magically creative day.